This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org and I'll talk a little bit more about them later. As 2023 approaches, you're gonna see a bunch of programming YouTubers start making videos about different topics and trends that have to do with the beginning of a new year, such as what programming language should you learn in 2023? Is AI gonna take over our jobs in 2023? Are you too old to learn how to code in 2023? How to get a job in 2023? And all these different types of videos that everyone tries to make at the beginning of the year because they're trendy topics and they kind of get a lot of views because programming is just one of those things that a lot of people set New Year's resolutions to do. And you know, us as YouTubers, we're gonna capitalize on it. And that's why I decided to make this video. I'm gonna make a video trying to cover all those topics in one. Have it be the last video you need to watch in 2022 about what you need to know about coding in 2023. With that said, here's my opinion on a lot of those things for 2023. All right, the best roadmap. I'll just go ahead and just cover web development because that's my area of expertise. There's going to be a ton of roadmaps that are going to come out and you're going to have to watch a bunch of videos until you figure out which one suits your needs the best. There's already a few really good roadmaps and honestly, these don't change that often. And if you're interested in getting into web development, I would say that you still need to learn the holy trifecta, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Once you've covered those and you feel comfortable with those, even though it's going to take you a while to feel comfortable with them, you can set out to learn a framework. After studying a front end framework for a while, you're going to probably want to learn how to implement CRUD functionality. And then you're probably gonna wanna start learning about databases, which will open up another can of worms. And then you'll either figure out if you're gonna go relational database or non-relational database, SQL, NoSQL, figure out which one best suits your needs. A lot of people are gonna recommend that you go NoSQL first. And honestly, SQL is probably gonna be better because relational databases scale better in the long term. Again, a whole lot of stuff that's gonna overwhelm you and make you feel like this is just too hard to learn. And you're gonna see roadmaps with super long list of things that you should learn and after you learn the databases you're going to want to learn a back-end language then you're going to want to learn about content management systems and then you're going to want to learn algorithms and then you're going to want to prep for interviews and you're going to have to learn about design you're going to have to learn about all these different things that are going to get you super stressed out that's okay don't worry, one step at a time. And again, you can get roadmaps that are super granular and will tell you every single thing that you should learn. And that's where these roadmaps get very overwhelming. The truth is you can still land the job with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, although it will be difficult, or you can go out and learn a bunch of stuff and still not be able to land the job. So it really just depends. Next, what's the best programming language to learn in 2023? I'm gonna go with JavaScript. Really, it can be used in so many different areas of development. It's definitely king when it comes to web development and I think it's just generally a good starting language for most people. Sure, it has its nuances and a lot of people will probably argue that you shouldn't learn JavaScript, but the demand for jobs are there and it's used everywhere. Also, there's plenty of tutorials and a lot of content out there for you to learn. Most of the front end frameworks in web development are gonna use JavaScript, so you might as well learn JavaScript. Next question I wanna cover. Is it worth learning the code in 2023? There's always gonna be value in learning a new skill. It's always good to challenge yourself. It's always Always good to learn new things. Taking the time to learn something is not time wasted. It can open up avenues for new things. You might decide to change direction and not continue with learning how to code, but it might spark an interest in something else. And learning is just good. You should constantly be learning. And yes, there is a lot of value in learning how to code in 2023. And there will still be a lot of value in 2033 to learn how to code. It's not something that will ever lose value. There's always gonna be value in learning a new skill, especially a high demand skill that it pays very well. While we're on the topic of gaining value from learning a new skill, I want to take a moment to mention today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. One of the best ways to challenge yourself and step out of your comfort zone is to learn a new skill. And a great place to learn something new is Brilliant.org. Brilliant is an online learning platform that offers engaging and interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. One of the things that really sets Brilliant apart is their focus on problem solving. Instead of just learning facts and formulas, you'll learn how to apply your knowledge to real world situations. Whether you're someone who's interested in getting started in a STEM career, or you're just someone who wants to learn something new, Brilliant has something for everyone. Their visual and interactive approach to learning is extremely engaging, plus they have thousands of lessons with new ones added every month. They do a great job of breaking down big important concepts into smaller understandable parts. And their learn by doing approach really helps make those hard to understand concepts stick when you're learning. I personally really like their computer science fundamentals course, and I recommend it to anyone who's interested in programming 
programming and getting started with learning how to code. That course will really help break down a lot of those fundamentals that you need to learn for computer science when you're trying to become a developer. As a special offer, Brilliant is gonna give a 20% discount off of their annual subscription to the first 200 viewers who sign up using my link. So to get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash Dorian Develops or use the link in my description down below. All right, let's get back to the video. And with that said, I'm gonna go into the next thing. Since many of you who are probably wondering whether or not it's even worth learning how to code right now are probably also worried that it's too saturated or that AI is gonna take our jobs or that you might be too old to learn how to code, I wanna cover that right now. One, I don't think it's oversaturated. There's plenty of jobs out there. Even with all the tech layoffs that you've been seeing in the news lately, there's plenty of companies that are still hiring. There's plenty of work to go around. There's plenty of freelance work out there. There's plenty of opportunity and there's not enough people doing this to fill all those voids. Well, what about AI? AI is gonna do all the coding in the next five to 10 years and all the programmers that exist now are gonna be out of a job. I'll tell you like this, ChatGPT and whatever AI is being developed currently is just gonna be another tool that we can use to make our jobs easier. It's not gonna replace developers and there's always gonna be a need for developers. Don't listen to all the fudsters that are making clickbaity videos trying to get views. The truth is that it's just another tool that we're gonna have at our disposal and it will make our jobs easier. You're still gonna need people to implement the code that the AI writes. And it's gonna be a long time before this stuff is that advanced that it's gonna just take our jobs and we're all gonna be homeless and broke. So no, it's not too oversaturated. Yes, it's still worth learning how to code. And if you think that you're too old to learn it and you think that you're too old to get a job as a developer in 2023, it's simply not true. I got my first job when I was 32 years old. I know people that do it in their 40s and you can learn this skill and still get value from it. Even if you don't get to work with a bunch of 20 year old hipsters, you can still start your own business. You can build your own websites. You can build your own apps. Don't let your age prevent you or make you think that you're not worthy of learning this or that it's a waste of your time because you're a certain age. There's always value in learning stuff, no matter how old you are. Another one I want to cover is whether or not you should go to a college, a boot camp, or learn to code self taught in 2023. And I'm going to say this do whichever one best fits your needs. If you're a young kid and you can afford it and you want to get into student debt or your parents, will pay for it or if you can get financial aid or if you want to go to the army and put your life on the line in order for you to get a college education and major in computer science do your four years get your degree and then go out into the world and get a job if you're not young enough or you don't have the time to be able to do that or you don't want to put your life on the line in order for you to get an education and you might be a little bit older or you might already have a full-time job and you can't do that or you don't have a full-time job but you're living at home with your parents and they're telling you that it's time for you to get out of the house and you see a coding boot camp out there do a boot camp if that best suits your needs. But make sure that you research them very well. Make sure that you understand what ISAs are and, and make sure that it's a reputable boot camp that you're joining and what they're selling you is actually true. And make sure that you validate their job placement and make sure that they're going to teach you skills that are in demand in your area to get you hired once you do complete that boot camp. And if you want to know if learning to code self-taught in 2023 is going to be your meal ticket, just know that going the self-taught route is probably the hardest route, even though you are kind of self-taught when you go to college and when you actually attend the boot camp, you're way more self-taught when you're actually self-taught. Hence why it's called being a self-taught developer. But none of us are ever truly self-taught. We all learn from YouTube videos. We all learn from courses that we find online. We all learn from different methods. So we're never, never truly self-taught. But if you decide to learn this stuff on your own and you don't know where to start, it's going to be hard and you're going to fumble around and you're going to watch all those videos on all those roadmaps that I was talking about. But that's fine. That's just what it is. That's just how it goes. And I think there is value in going self-taught, especially if you're someone who doesn't have the time to commit to a boot camp or can't attend college for financial reasons or because you have responsibilities. You might be a little bit older. You might have a family or you just don't want to do those things because it doesn't work with your schedule or it just doesn't work with your needs at the current moment. And you need to learn on your own and you need to do it on your free time and you need to do it little by little. Or maybe you are just a degenerate who lives at home in your parents' basement basement and all you do is play video games all day and you decide that, hey, I'm not going to play video games anymore. I'm going to give that up and I'm going to learn how to code. You can do that too, self-taught. One of the last things I want to cover in this is how to get a job in 2023 as a developer. This doesn't really change year to year, but there's still going to be a lot of videos out there that are going to have a title like this because they want to get the clicks because they know that people are interested in getting jobs. And since it's a new year, new video, more clicks. The truth is that to get a job as a developer, you got to learn language.
languages. You got to build projects. You got to build portfolios. You got to put yourself out there, maybe learn in public, create a LinkedIn account, create your resume and start applying for jobs. Go out and network and meet people. Eventually you'll start getting a little bit of freelance work. You'll probably build some stuff for free for friends. You'll build some stuff for yourself that you will put on your portfolio and make it look like it was something that you did professionally. You'll have to fluff your resume. You'll have to go out there and interview a bunch of times and get rejected and feel like shit until you eventually will get an opportunity to work for real and make a little bit of money. And then you'll build upon that till one day someone interviews you and gives you a job and just keep doing this until someone hires you. That's just the reality of it, especially if you're learning the code self-taught. But the truth is, if you go to a boot camp or college, that's still going to be the case. You're still going to have to jump through a lot of those hoops. So just be prepared for that. It's part of the process. And yes, it's hard. It's really, really hard, but it's doable and you can definitely do it in 2023. All right. With that said, I think that wraps up most of the video topics that I think you're going to come across in 2023 when it comes to learning how to code. The truth is that there's going to be so much information out there and a lot of the people are saying the same stuff and the same thing can only be said so many ways. If you want to learn this stuff, there isn't a video out there that's going to do it for you. You have to go out there and figure this stuff out on your own. And while some of these videos are helpful, a lot of them just waste time. Focus on what you need to do in order to get the thing done and go do it. Stop watching YouTube videos on whether or not you should do it or if you're too old or if it's too saturated or what's the best way to learn or what's the best programming language to learn. Stop it. Just stop it. Go out there and start learning already and stop trying to find the magic answer in a video. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.